In the news tonight, get off your phone. Distracted law has gone into effect. The country's top diplomat defense in Tegan Barbary's choice for the OAS Secretary General. And the police prepare to review their year in crime fighting and other major matters. The ABC Evening News begins now. The local evening news is brought to you by Nagico, local agents, Bryson's Insurance. Well, welcome to the ABS Evening News, Antigua's News Authority here on ABS Television. I'm Andy Lightbird. Thanks so much for joining us uh, this evening. And we begin uh, this way. The police are ready to get tough on motorists found using their mobile devices while driving. They're armed with the necessary law to take action against offenders. More in this report. On January 2nd this year, an amendment to the Vehicles and Road Traffic Act went into effect. It makes it illegal for drivers to be using their mobile devices while in traffic. Further, the Mobile Devices Regulations of 2019 stipulates that drivers can no longer hold or use a handheld mobile device while driving. The regulations go further. A driver is no longer allowed to tap away at the keys of his mobile device to send a WhatsApp message or email or any electronic message. You are not even allowed to view the messages coming on your phone. In other words, the law is clear. Keep off your phones while driving. If not, and if caught, the police are empowered to issue an offending driver with a ticket on the spot. They would have to pay $500 immediately. The law was introduced to cut down on the number of accidents caused by distracted driving. Jessica Russell, ABS News. And now this uh, major news just coming to hand. The, the government has decided to extend the date for the annual Christmas Barrel Initiative. Uh, the incentive allows residents in Antigua and Barbuda to import a standard size barrel or e-container with a specified amount of clothing or toiletries for personal use. Now, Minister of State in the Prime Minister's office, Lennox Weston, in consultation with Comptroller of Customs, Raju Badu, made the determination this weekend to ensure that all barrels are cleared and everyone gets a fair chance to take advantage of this initiative. Now, the initiative was scheduled to end on 2nd January, but as a result of the extension, will now cut off on the 10th of January. So the barrel the Christmas Barrel Initiative has been extended until the 10th of January. So all barrels that have been imported before or even on the 10th of January will be able to qualify for the initiative. Now to other news. The top brass of the Royal Police Force of Antigua and Barbuda will come face to face with the media next week. At the end of the year, the police usually come to the public to give a detailed rundown of important statistics in the crucial areas of their work. Uh, the country would have ended the year with only three murders, the last one committed in the last month of the year. But other areas of criminal activity like break-ins would have given them cause for concern and forced the authorities to beef up their resources. An official statement on crime, traffic and incidents of fire for 2019 will be given at the event scheduled for Wednesday. The police's plans for the new year, especially in the area of crime fighting, will also be revealed. ABS will be front and center and will be reporting all of the details. Now this, OAS Ambassador Sir Ronald Sanders has dismissed as purely propaganda the suggestion that Antiguan Barbuda is supporting the candidate for the OAS Secretary General only as a result of the influence of Cuba and Venezuela. Antiguan Barbuda and St. Vincent and the Grenadines jointly nominated Ecuadorian Maria Fernanda Espinosa as their candidate for the post. The March election comes as the OAS is widely criticized for moving away from its founding philosophy and falling prey to the will of more powerful member nations. Now, writing in his regular online commentary, Sir Ron states, As the representative of one of the governments that nominated her, I can state, and that's Espinosa, I can state beyond fear of contradiction that no member of the government of Antigua and Barbuda consulted with any government other than CARICOM wants on proposing her. End quote. Now, he says what CARICOM wants is for the OAS to pursue the philosophy originally expressed by the current Secretary General, Luis Alamagro, where the OAS would prevent the hemisphere 
from Cold War practices by shoring up negotiation, mediation, and consensus building skills. Siron says on this, Almagaro has failed the hemispheric body. Now, there's more farmers have been urged to use hydroponics or soil-less farming. And this after officials visited a farm which uses hydroponics to grow produce. Backyard garden facilitator at the Ministry of Agriculture, Ayo Simon, says a hydroponic system has the benefit of using less water. He also says as a hydroponic system does not use soil, it also acts as a way to avoid contact with the giant African snail. The invasive species is popular in many parts of the island and consumes a wide range of vegetation. Simon says because of the major benefits of hydroponics, more farmers should get involved. Ministry of Agriculture Permanent Secretary Colin O'Keefe agrees more farmers should engage in this kind of, farmer, of farming. While acknowledging limitations of hydroponics, he says farmers uh, uh, should uh, work with extension officers to get the best advice on how to go forward. And finally, uh, this evening, Queen of Carnival, Shinikisha Francis, is giving back. Francis uh, contributed to a warm meal to residents of the Fines Institute recently. A representative of the organization which takes care of the elderly thanks her for the donation. We're happy that you are an ambassador for Antigua and in touch collaboration with your mother and friends that you guys thought of the residents here at Fines. Well, on that note, we've come to the end of the national segment of our newscast. Uh, please uh, stay with us because we have more news uh, coming up after this. Coming up next in sports, new leaders of the first division as the promotion race intensifies. Stay with us. At Nagico, the th things that matter to you matter to us. Like knowing you're covered when your house gets flooded. Getting your settlements quickly and fairly when a fire hits your home. And making sure your business can keep going, even after an accident happens on site. At Nagico, we're about much more than just insurance. We're about the big things and the small things that mean everything.